In the summer, popsicles are popular around my house. Either I have the little like ice pops or I got smart and I bought a box of like all strawberry flavored pops, just one flavor, which helps cut down on the quarrels in my home because if there's two popsicles left and one is purple and one is blue, if one child says, I want the blue one, then the other child acts as if his life depends on him getting the blue one. And all of a sudden they both have to have the blue one and just the world erupts. And I have to say to one of them, I have to say, you only want that flavor because your brother asked for it first. And then I make them rock, rock, paper, scissors to settle it. (laughs) I'm getting somewhere with this story, by the way. In our first reading from today's Mass, before Abraham was given the name Abraham, he's Abram, and he kind of does the opposite of the popsicle conundrum. In Genesis chapter 13, verse 9, it says, Is not the whole land available? Please separate from me. If you prefer the left, I will go to the right. If you prefer the right, I will go to the left. Abram wants peace so badly for his family and for uh, the people that work for his family and keeping their, their herds that he tells his nephew Lot, just take what you want. Look at what is available to us. If you want that side, I'll go there. If you want this, I'll take that. And Lot looks and he chooses the more fertile land, the more promising land. And Abraham, Abram gets, you know, the dregs, the leftovers. But he knows that God's promise is greater than that and that God has more for him than just dirt and, and soil and grass. He's a beautiful example of a peacemaker. He says, if it means the fighting stops, then take what you want. I know that God will give me what I need. 